Hello, Taurus viewers. So I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks. Um, I've been getting a collective energy that, you know, new love is coming in. Either it has come in for you or it's about to come in for you. You know, for this group for a while, I was getting the energy of, of you know, abusive and toxic relationships and just karmic patterns that were repeating. But I'm, I'm finally sensing new love for you guys. So you guys are breaking those old patterns. There is a collective energy right now that's actually coming up in a lot of my, my Zodiac readings. It's just this collective energy of, you know, releasing the past, letting go of toxic patterns, toxic people, toxic situations and behaviors, and manifesting new love, manifesting someone who's outside of your comfort zone, manifesting someone who's just different, um, maybe not your usual type, but just manifesting someone who's um, more compatible with you, someone who's going to treat you better and match your energy in ways that your ex just didn't. Um, so there is a bit of a love triangle here with you guys, but, but yeah, the collective energy is really good for new love right now. So let's see what's going on. Pull from this deck, actually. All right, and it's very, it's stable love too. So what do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know? Please be clear and direct. Please, cards, be clear, be direct. Free will, independence, free spirit, courtesy, politefulness, thoughtful, thoughtful, good manners, death right, saying goodbye. So not actual death, but necessarily. Well, it could be. Some of you could be going through a loss. But um, I think mostly death is in, in Oracle and Tarot readings. It's just about letting go of um, the past, letting go of a situation that's over with. So saying goodbye, um, honoring lives, the call of the night, daring, adventure, excitement, redemption, absolution, forgiveness, penance, call for help, need for help, supernatural, inexplicable, mis miraculous, and otherworldly. It could also be with the death card here, if you've got like an animal or, um, or a person you love that has passed, that you're connected to, and sometimes you telepathically channel them. It could be saying they're, they're kind of assisting you in bringing this new love in. They're assisting you in stepping out of your comfort zone and kind of believing in you. They, they have faith in you. They believe that you can have more than what you've had in the past, and they're trying to push you to, to do better for yourself. To me, what it's saying here with, with free will and, um, you know, like free spirit, independence, and courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners, I think that this new person that's either come in or is about to come in is going to treat you well just because of who they are as a person. Like, they're just going to have the integrity to treat you well. I think in the past you had to force it, like with, with the ex or whoever it might have been. It's like you had to ask them for their time and attention. You had to make plans first. You had to be the first one to call to reach out to them. You had to put yourself out there it's like you were giving 90 percent and they were giving 10 percent you know it was like not a balanced relationship or connection at all you were just giving your everything and they were giving the bare minimum doing the bare minimum to try to keep you happy um it's like you just had to force that connection you know you had to you had to constantly think of what to say, what to do. Like, do I play games? Do I do this? How do I get their attention? What are they doing? You had to constantly look into them, constantly have to try to have to figure out how they're feeling, what, what's going on with them. You know, it was like just not a natural connection. It was very forced. It's like you had to, you had to really push them to treat you well. You had to ask them to treat you well. You had to remind them to treat you well. You had to ask for just you know, a text back for just basic common sense stuff that you should be have freely in a relationship. You know, you had to constantly push them to just give you the bare minimum to just make some kind of effort for you. And with this new person that's either coming in or, or has already come in recently, 
they're just going to be thoughtful and polite and have good manners of their own free will. Like, you're not going to have to beg them for time and attention. You're not going to have to push them and have to remind them to treat you well. They're just going to want to do those things naturally. They're going to want to make you happy on their own. They're going to be texting you first and calling you first just because they want to see you. You're not going to have to force anything like you did with the ex. You know what I mean? They're just going to have their own free will and they're going to be choosing you consciously. They're going to choose to be thoughtful, to be polite, to have good manners, to respect you, to show you love. They're going to be choosing you consciously. It's not going to be, and you're going to understand the energy difference with this person when you compare them to your ex, to how you had to force them to give you time and attention. You had to beg for time and attention. You had to give ultimatums or manipulate or do whatever to get their attention and get them to, to treat you decently. Or And it never lasted. It would just be like they would say whatever to get you off their back and then they would go back to the same old, same old routine. But with this person, they're just going to be just freely giving you this good energy, freely, just their own free will. They're just going to want to treat you well, you know? Um, so you might be saying goodbye to this old connection once this, once this new one comes in. Could also be animals or people from the other side that are guiding this connection, you know, divinely. Pe um, people, you know, she's got like a cat or a dog here that's passed over. So maybe like spirit animal guides here too. We've got cats again here and we got a wolf. Um, so just, just maybe spirit animals or just um, animals or humans even from the other side that are just divinely guiding this new connection and helping you say goodbye, helping you release this because they want better for you. It could be someone on the other side saying too, like redemption, forgiveness, like forgive yourself. Could be someone else saying they forgive you too if there was trauma between you and someone that passed. They're saying, you know, all this forgiven, all is well, they love you. Um, everything's okay. This connection is just so divinely guided. It's like you're, you really have a, a team on the other side that's just helping you let go of the past. You know, this is the call of the night, daring, adventure, excitement, like a new path for you. Um, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Well, like forgiving yourself, most importantly, but also knowing you're forgiven. It's like, look at her. She's like looking up and they're saying, yes, we forgive you. Everything is okay. You're only human. It's okay. Go easy on yourself. Um, call for help, you know, reach out for help, admit your needs, talk to your guides, talk to these spirits, ask them for what you need. Um, this is just, it's beautiful energy because like, look, it's, it's supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. So you've got all these like spirit animals around you and all these just guardians and like angels and gods and goddesses and all these, you know, like your soul family, just all these beings around you that are divinely guiding this new connection that you have coming in here. Um, what else can we say about this new connection? What else is there to say about this new connection? I like that my messenger is going off as I'm typing this, so it's like, I'm almost like annoyed because I'm trying to like do this reading and my messenger's going off. It's like this person's going to give you so much attention. It's almost going to like be irritating. It's like you're going to be like, what? I don't have to message you first. I don't have to call you first. You're just going to do it because you just want to. Are you sure? <laughs> What's the catch? There's <laughs> no catch. <laughs> so we've got, oh, God. We've got trapped blocked, tied up, choosing their words wisely, planning the approach, clubs, parties, social life, potential life partner, true love, sense of belonging, home, safe space, beauty, mystery, and enchantment. We have choosing love over fear, bold gesture, risk, and reward, and then we have stagnation and complacency. I almost feel like your guides are trying to push you. This is just such a divinely guided connection. I almost feel like you have this pattern and it's like your guides are trying to push you to cut the cords here. It's like you've been trapped and blocked and tied up. And I don't, I don't want to say that your guides are like tricking you into this connection, but it's almost like your guides have to like, it's, it's such a weird energy. It's almost like your guides have to outsmart you because 
otherwise you overthink things and you overanalyze and you you go back to like the toxic ex or the toxic like patterns and it's like it sounds weird to say that your guides have to outsmart you but it's almost like they have to like not give you all the information about this new person because if they do tell you everything about them then you're gonna overthink it and you're gonna sabotage it and so your guides are trying to like choose their like see choosing their words wisely planning the approach your guides are trying to stay a couple steps ahead of you and like it's like your mind kind of blocks this your mind has almost been blocking this new connection from coming in it could be that you're holding on to your ex too tightly or you're holding on to certain patterns too tightly or you're convincing yourself you just don't want to date right now um or you're convincing yourself like like maybe like you wouldn't like maybe this just person just is not your usual type um but it's like you're blocking yourself and your guides are trying to like be sneaky almost and plan their approach out to to stop you from sabotaging yourself i hope that makes sense <laughs> like they don't want to give they don't want to give you too much info because if they do it's like you might overthink and you might sabotage it so they're just trying to like just tell you they're like really being careful about how much they reveal to you right now about this connection um they're just trying to do it just right just so that this all aligns perfectly and it's like your mind has been kind of getting in the way whether it's holding on to something toxic or fear or or guilt or regret or whatever it might be it's like just there's like this stagnant complacent kind of energy in your mind that has blocked this connection from fully coming in and um yeah your guides are trying to, to to get around that they're trying to figure out how to get you to stop allowing your mind to block this love if that makes any sense like they're trying to just because if they say hey you're going to meet this person on you know this month then it's like you're going to obsess or you're going to think about it so much that you're probably going to like cause blocks because you're going to be like over overthinking and overdoing it and then it's like not going to flow naturally you know what i mean does that make sense or it's, it's, it's just like a strange energy, but they're, they're trying to, they're, they're working behind the scenes to bring this together. Your soul group, if you have like people you love that have passed over or animals you love, they're working on this behind the scenes too with your guides to try to um, get this connection um, together, you know, but you just gotta, your, your mind is stubborn is basically just what I'm getting. Whatever that might mean for you, like you know what it means. You know where your stubbornness is with your mind. So just try to push past that if you can try to let go try to get into the universal flow try to get in tune with these blessings and this new love that your guides are trying to bring you you know don't be so set on a toxic ex just because you put a lot of energy into it sometimes it's just not worth it anymore you know like think about it this way you already put so much energy into it do you really want to put any more than you, what you've already put into it you know your guides could be trying to organize like a like see clubs parties social life some kind of social event trying to bring this together trying to get you to be more social that kind of thing they're just trying to to just orchestrate this just right just so that everything just falls into place and once you actually allow this connection like once you allow yourself this unfamiliarity and this this new love you know this person is a potential life partner this person is gonna you're gonna feel at home with them and they're going to feel at home with you sense of belonging home safe space you know being his being his or her rock and vice versa um you know it's going to be unfamiliar at first and so you're, you're you really sabotage things with your mind i think and your guides are really trying to push you past that um and again this energy is going to be very different from your ex because it's like they're just going to be pursuing you because they want to like it's just going to be natural for them like they're just going to want to talk to you they're not going to want you to make all the effort. They're going to want to be making an effort. You know what I mean? They're going to be hitting you up to hang out. Um, so just let it flow naturally. You know, just put yourself out there. Step out of your comfort zone. Um, go where you're guided to go. If you're guided to go to some kind of place or event, you know, you know, follow, like try to get in more in tune. You're very in your head right now about things, I think. And you need to kind of step out of that and get in tune with your intuition again and just let things flow naturally and let go of the control issues. Um, but this person is going to think you're beautiful and mysterious and enchanting. They're going to be enthralled by you. 
could also be why your guides aren't telling you too much because if they're like, hey, your true love is coming in, you might get so excited that you might meet this person and just smother them and then they'll run because they're like, what the fuck? That was so soon, like what? Like they're gonna think you're a crazy person because it's gonna happen so fast. But it happens when you're a psychic. It's like, cause you know this person's coming in and so you get excited. And so sometimes it can overwhelm the person though if they're not used to the the psychic connection, you know what I mean? Like they might be like, why is this person so, like if they don't understand the concept of soul recognition and like life partners and, and twin flames and soulmates, it might overwhelm them. So it's kind of like your guides are trying to make sure that this happens steadily, slowly, naturally. Um, and they want to make sure, I think that you have a habit of chasing people. Like you have a habit of like, being the first one to call, being the first one to text, being the one to chase, and that your guides want to make sure that when this this love comes in, that you let them do the pursuing, that they're, you know what I mean? Like, they don't want you messaging and calling this person all the time. They want to have the other person be calling you, be messaging you, be making an effort for you, and you're not used to that energy. You're used to having to do it all on your own, so you're going to have to sit in your power and be patient when this comes in and let them message you first, let them call you first, let them make the effort, you know what I mean? Like, kind of just let them, just let it come in, you know, let it come in naturally. Um, don't smother them right away. That's why they're not telling you too much about this person is because they think that you would like figure it, figure it out and when you met them, you'd be like, oh my God, this is my life partner and you would like smother them and they would run and it would sabotage it. But I think that's why they're not telling you much because then it's like this is going to develop more naturally where it's like you're going to meet and you're going to be kind of friends and just kind of hanging out and it's going to develop naturally um, and since you don't have all these like high expectations tied to this person when they come in since you don't know who it is it's going to just make it so much easier for your guides to work and make this connection grow naturally and um, uh just just really remember to stay in your power in your power even if you do figure out who it is just stay in your power let them come to you let them message you first let them call you first let them do the pursuing you know you have to change the this this pattern you have of chasing people you got to change it and you change it by forcing yourself to just sit in your power and have them chase you like if they want like just tell yourself if they want you they're going to come for you they're not going to let you go that easily if someone wants you they're going to put you in their life they're not just going to let months go by without contacting you you know what i mean like if you have to beg someone for time and attention it's not worth it um you know what i mean it's like forced so it's, they're saying don't force this connection let this person just naturally come to you and continue that be aware of that energy be aware of how when you don't message they message first they call first <coughs> oh sorry be aware how, how they message first they call first they make the effort first don't jump back into that pattern where you start messaging and calling and making all the effort first just stay in your power and let them do it let them do the work this person is like a knight in shining armor chaser type so let them do the chasing they want to um and they're gonna find you beauty beautiful mysterious enchanting and they're gonna they're gonna you know where your ex didn't see that didn't feel like there was a reward there your ex didn't get it but this person is gonna choose love over fear this person is like a knight in shining armor type like i like i said you know this is like a bold gesture like they're gonna be making the effort and it's gonna be uncomfortable and unfamiliar for you so you have to just get used to that energy let them do it if he want if he or she wants to come over and like bring you ice cream and spoil you let them don't don't say oh no i don't need that it's okay no just let them they want to do it this is like a is that type of person they want to do those things for you they want to spoil you they want to chase you you know what i mean so let them chase you let them spoil you don't don't do it for them don't do their work for them um and yeah they're, they're gonna see that you're worth the risk it's gonna be well worth it so i hope this helps you guys if it resonates please go ahead and subscribe to me and if you want a private reading my information is below